I'm curious because, and, and this is, I'd like to pick your brain, the campaign strategist part of your brain. If you're on Trump's team, you must be thinking right now about all the missed opportunities, because as you said, we both know historically the incumbent is uh, has a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. And also in this Especially era, in a crisis. And yes. And then uh, so number one, there's uh, covid, which yeah. pretty much I mean, Trump himself said it. He said, I'm a wartime president. He could have been a wartime president if yeah. he had said, I take this really seriously and here's what we need to do. Yeah. He would have had the approval of so many people on the left suddenly. And totally. then you look at picking an unnecessary fight with the ghost of John McCain in Arizona. And the list goes on and on and on of the things that he did that I'm, I'm sure his strategists must have been pulling their hair out. Because when you look at the results now, I know a lot of um, – Democrats are maybe disappointed that this, yeah. it's this close and they think, how could it be this close? Well, uh, it, on the Republican side, they must be thinking this was very winnable. He could have had this. That is, I mean, that, that is exactly the conversation they're having, not just on the, the broader Republican side, but inside Trump's own circle. That, and, and he didn't need to do everything different with COVID. He needed to do it like 10 percent better. He needed to figure right. out. How it, and, and someone said this to me on the Saturday before the election, that if he loses, it will be because he could never be convinced that actually doing the right thing for the country would have been good politics for him. He just right. he couldn't be convinced of that. People try. Um, he, he also has, you know, I mean, I don't know Jared Kushner, so I don't say this with any personal venom, but he is in – so far over his head. He, he, he is running the United States government, all of it, and he ran the presidential campaign. And again, this is misreading mandates. Because Trump won four years ago, Jared thought he was really good at both those things. He yeah. sucked at both those things. You know, the country was just primed for sort of this radical disruption of our, you know, sort of status quo in our politics. And, and, and Trump rode in and excited and titillated people. But the notion that they were going to be able to do things better than Tony Fauci and that they were going to and, and, it, and it, tra it transcended into everything. They knew more about the pandemic than Tony Fauci. They knew more about campaigning for president than, you know, Chris Christie or the people around them that had done it before. If he loses, it, it won't be because people didn't want him to succeed. They, they did desperately. And it's, if you said if, if he had done a decent job on COVID, it, it's not clear that there is right. a home run hit but he couldn't even pretend to care yeah about yeah. the way people are living in this time of the pandemic